<laughs> Josh. Um, hilarious, fabulous, and a very loyal friend. <laughs> Outrageous, flippant, and hilarious. Great, Josh. Uh, fabulous, fun, and a loyal friend. Um, confident, clever, and happy. Messy. <laughs> Demanding. <laughs> Lovable. Words. Josh is amazing, stupid, and tanned. Question three words. Fabulous, super intelligent, ridiculous. In three words. Happy. Clever. <laughs> Noisy. <laughs> <laughs> His mum and dad going to see this? Maybe. <laughs> what is it? Josh? I thought I didn't like him. <laughs> he was going out with one of my friends and I heard stories about him and I thought he was a bad egg. <laughs> and for years I was like, that boy's bad news. And then he became friends with my friends in Glasgow when I met him and I was like, you're actually alright. And yeah. then he became my best friend. We moved in together. That's a lovely story. story. That's a lovely story. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like a nice boy. That's lovely. For John. Have you got anything else to add other than Jesus Christ? No, just, no? just with that inference. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. When I first met Josh, I was 10 or 11, um, and I must have thought he was a pretty good looking guy because we then started going out, uh, and I loved Josh, and you know, he was my first kiss, and so he means a lot to me, um, and you know, my, my perception has changed a little bit over time, but I still love Josh. <laughs> I thought when I first met Josh that he was an absolute <laughs> slut. <laughs> <laughs> and I Tell just us more. yeah, well, I just we we, we bobbed into each other and we were on a we we're on the same kind of slut mission. <laughs> and I was doing it better than he was. So. Met Josh. So I was four years old. <laughs> So I don't really have a great opinion, but I'm pretty sure I already knew you were gay. <laughs> you didn't tell her. <laughs> you didn't tell me! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we dated in primary six. I think it is. Oh. <laughs> My first impression of Josh was that he had a very nice bike because he was cycling on our street that we grew up on <laughs> and that also he was going to be my first and new best friend and he was, so thank you. Uh, uh, addictive. Addictive. I like it. Anything else? No. No. <laughs> Josh. I thought, wow, he looks like Rebecca Adlington. <laughs> so Josh was going out with someone I didn't really like, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> so Josh. Oh, a little, little bundle of joy. He was absolutely everything that we wanted. <gasps> Just so happy all the time. <laughs> and did he stay that way? So and did he stay? Most of it, most of it. <laughs> Until he met Helen. <laughs> uh, the terrible influence that she was. <laughs> no, she was always, always a happy, loving me. Oh.
birthday, Josh. You are so old, which means I'm even older. Um, looking forward to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Gaylord. Happy birthday, Josh. Have a good one. <laughs> Happy birthday, Josh. I love you so much. I can't believe that you're so old now. <laughs> you're always going to be older than me, so just remember that. Love you. Bye. Happy birthday, Josh. I know you'll love this because you crave the attention just as much as I do. And this is all the attention. I'm actually really jealous of this attention, so maybe someone else will do it for me. <laughs> Uh, happy birthday, Joshy. I've known you for so long and I'm so happy that we're both growing old together. <laughs> happy birthday, Joshua McGregor, you civil engineer, you. I hope you have an amazing day and night and I love you very much. Thank you for being my friend and I'll see you soon. Happy birthday, Uncle Josh. Happy birthday. Woohoo. Woohoo. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Are you fun? Yes, sir. Uh, Happy birthday, Josh. I hope you enjoyed the chupitos. I hope you enjoyed Britties. And I love you and I can't wait to the after party. <laughs> But you do know 25 is not a thing, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, you've got to remember that 25 is not a thing. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday.